Hello, what's up everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this episode, we are going to talk about how to create a unique ID for a visitor using PHP. By creating a unique ID for a visitor, we can use the identification code to identify whether the same visitor visited our website or not. We can use their um, path of um, they visited this page or checkout page like that to record on our database and we can use those data in the future. By taking an example, I created an e-commerce website and I have too many visitors visiting my website. Okay, so I use this program to identify those customers path. Uh, that means uh, how many uh, times they visited the checkout page, register page, login page, like that. Okay, so I can identify uh, them by using this uh, unique ID and we can make uh, special offers for them who registered on our website and for the people who uh, check out checked out uh, something from our website like that so we can go to the program section and let's check out how to make this possible so let's draw there's an unique id generating function in php this function will generate an unique ID when we execute the program. Now we can check the output of this uh, unique identification code by getting into the browser. Here I am using the operator. I am going to the directory where I created this program file called unique underscore ID. That's a folder I created. Here is the output. Now I am going to write another program to get the device name or IP address of the visitor who is visiting the page. So let's check out the output and here is the output. Now we can combine this program and create a new key called uh, a new key variable. In that variable we can put all this code together like uh, the unique id function in php and the remote address code to get the system name or IP address. Here I am combining all the codes together like in the new uh, key variable I put more than three unique ID function and going to put uh, or going to write the uh, get address get the host by address function to get the device name or IP address. And now we can echo the output by calling the variable new key and go to the browser and reload it and here is the output. Now we can put some under slash uh, in between the unique id function and the get host by address function so we can separate uh, separately see the output. See? The result every time when we reload the browser it will generate a new ID now we can encrypt the new key by using the md5 uh, function in PHP to encrypt the key now Let's go to the browser and we can see the encrypted key now. We will use this new key or the encrypted key uh, to identify the visitor. Okay, so now go to the database section and 
now we are creating a new database called unique id and we will uh, we can create a new table though same we can uh, create a table called unique id same like that and uh, let's write the past uh, raw call serial number and put it as uh, auto increment then our uh, next row as unique id and we can put 100 length for that row now we want to connect uh, our program with the database for that uh, we can write a program to connect with the database here I'm using the MySQLA connection. My host is localhost. The user is root. And there is no password. And at last, the database is unique ID. Now we want to write another program or uh, an uh, condition to check whether we set it a cookie or not. Okay, so for that we can use the is it function or uh, is it code in PHP and check uh, whether it's uh, a visitor, a cookie called visitor is um, set in the visitor or uh, I mean the visitor browser. Okay and uh, if it is not set uh, we can uh, we can write a program to set a cookie called visitor id like the following okay set cookie in the bracket visitor id the cookie name is visitor id and we are creating a new variable called md key md underscore key and the value of the visitor id is going to be md key and now we want to set an expiry time you can uh, you can do that according to your voice The slash uh, will help us to uh, set the cookie for the end day website. Now we want to write another program uh, called a statement or a query statement in PHP to check whether the MD5, uh, MD key or the new variable, the new key that we programmed, uh, whether it's available in the database or not. Uh, so we want to perform this uh, query every time every time when if it is uh, if the visitor is not set the cookie called visitor underscore id okay so if, if the cookie is not set is set then this program will uh, run and check whether the md underscore key is uh, already the on the database or not okay so uh, let's check Now we are gonna write an if condition. This if condition will return an output one or zero. If the output is one, uh, then the md for md underscore key is already uh, there on the database. If it is not, uh, if it is return zero, then there is no such kind of key uh, inserted on the database. So. If it is not there in the database, then the set cookie visitor ID is going to be performed. Now we can go to the browser and check the output. 
by inspecting the page go to the application in the application we can see the cookie is set up with the name visitor id and there is a value in it now we can go to the program section again and echo the md underscore key and now go to the browser and reload the page now we can see the unique id is generated and go to the application and cookie the cookie remains the same the md key is going to be generated new new key every time but uh, the application in the application the key remains the same now we can go to the programming section again and in the else condition uh, we can write an insert query uh, in the insert query we can insert the new key that we generated for that uh, we can uh, write a connection co connection uh, code with the database in the prepare statement i'm going to copy paste the insert query that generated from the <coughs> php my <Airbnb. coughs> here is the query i pasted to the prepare statement now we can bind the md underscore key to the prepare statement now we can call the execute execute query now go to the browser and reload the program and we can check the database but unfortunately there is no data inserted to, to the database the problem is with the cookie now go to the application and delete the old cookie because in the program section we set an condition the insert query only work if uh, there is no cookie inserted okay now we can go to the browser again and check the database see the id is not changing Thank you for watching this video. If you like the video, please press the like button. Also do the subscribe. Thank you. Thank you for watching.